1859, Darwin's theory of evolution by natural selection dropped like a bombshell into a world ill-prepared to deal with it. Darwin was radical. His dynamic view was extraordinary. Nothing had ever been seen like it. Infinitesimal changes all the time, competing. One out of 10,000 might win out. Everything was moving all the time. If environment changed, species had to change and adjust. His was a dynamic view, radical. Darwin's theory upset the notion of a fixed natural order. Political thinkers of every kind were quick to seize upon it, to justify how they wanted society to run. What, of course, happened was that they cannibalized what they wanted from Darwinism. This always happens with political theories. You take what you want and ignore the rest. Darwin's struggle for survival became central to a middle-class struggle for power. New money challenging old money, where the fittest would rise to the top, the weak would go to the wall. These were the ideas of middle-class reformers, led by evolutionist Thomas Henry Huxley. The reformers loved it. It legitimized their political demands for change, bring in the best, make competition the rule, free and open competition. This was free and open competition in nature. Shouldn't we have it in society? But of course, the Anglican ruling class um, disliked it because it upset their privileged position in society. It undermined it. But the new privilege of the middle classes was immediately threatened by more revolutionary interpretations of evolution. 